Number 10. Hidden Rainforest When you think of Antarctica, what is the first thing that strikes your mind? Mountainous glaciers, frozen lakes and waterfalls, numbing sub-zero temperatures. In short, Antarctica is… inhabitable. What if we told you that Antarctica was once home to several species of animals? Of course, apart from the penguins and polar bears that we find today. Don't believe us? Let's go back to a time when Antarctica had a humid climate and temperatures of 35 degrees Celsius, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, about 90 million years ago. The rainforest discovery happened in 2017 when a group of international researchers found core sediment under the layer of ice in Pine Island, West Antarctica. The research team was baffled to find sediments of a different color. When they had the samples tested, they found fossilized traces of several types of pollen, spores, and even fossilized roots which signify a once thriving temperate rainforest at the extreme pole of the Earth. There is no doubt that during the Cretaceous period, which dates to around 140 million to 60 million years ago, the dinosaurs were the kings of the Earth, and the sea level was at least 558 feet 170 meters higher than what it is today. Antarctica's weather had been pleasant and likely as high as 54 degrees Fahrenheit, 12 degrees Celsius. The temperatures in summer would be around 66 degrees Fahrenheit, 19 degrees Celsius, and the water temperature would have been roughly 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius. The world has been talking about the radically changing climate and emission of greenhouse gases and how important it is to keep that in check. If things continue as they are, it won't be long before Antarctica's rainforests could spring back to life but we, the human race, would cease to live. Number 9. Lost Tunic Do you think that tunics came into fashion in the 20th century? What if we tell you that scientists found a tunic that belongs to the Iron Age, both well-preserved and hidden away below layers and layers of ice? What's even more fascinating wasn't just the tunic they found. In August 2011, when scientists were digging through the ice sites at Opland Lindbreed, they found a bundled-up piece of fabric and didn't think much of it. It could have been from some hiker or just have belonged to victims of an avalanche. They, however, carefully bundled it up and had it transported to a nearby lab. On unwrapping the fabric, they discovered that it was a completely intact tunic. A radiocarbon dating analysis stated that the tunic was at least 1,700 years old. Considering the area where it was found, it is regarded as a pretty rare find. During the same year, scientists also found a mitten not too far from where they had found the tunic. They assumed both the pieces of textile might have had some connection, but to their surprise, the mitten belonged to another era, dating back to the age of the Vikings, 1100 years ago. Excavations continued, and around 70 fragments of clothing were found, whose definite purpose could not be established. It wasn't just tailoring skills. People belonging to this age also had commendable shoemaking skills. Several discarded shoes made of untanned hide were also found scattered amidst the ice. The unique feature of these shoes is in the fact that the hair side of the hide was stitched towards the outsides of the shoes. Although it wouldn't look appealing, it served the purpose of providing grip during difficult snow crossings. The oldest hide shoe which was found intact in one piece belonged to the period 1000 AD. Number 8. Treasure Found in Ice while you are hiking up an icy glacier, you'd be unlikely to stumble over a treasure chest unless you're playing Minecraft. But for one French climber, luck was on his side. In 2013, a French climber who wished to remain anonymous was climbing up Mont Blanc, Bostonos Glacier, when he stumbled upon a treasure chest full of sapphires, emeralds, and rubies. This wasn't just any find. The value of the items discovered was estimated to be $332,000. The climber reported to the local newspaper that he found an etching that said, Made in India, when he opened the chest. Being an ideal citizen, he reported his find to the police and handed over the treasure to the authorities. After further research, they discovered that the loot was linked to plane crashes associated with two Indian airlines. The first one occurred in 1950, where on November 13, a flight carrying the Malabar Princess had crashed and took the lives of 58 people. Similarly, 16 years later, on January 24, 1966, an Air India flight carrying passengers from Mumbai to New York crashed, killing all the 117 passengers. The French have duly notified the Indian authorities. However, if the treasure remains unclaimed, according to the French law, the ownership of the find would automatically go to the climber. Although this discovery is quite rare, it is not the only thing that has been found scattered around the Mont Blanc glacier. There have been several such reports made in the past few years alone. Number 7. Otto Otto Dart 
Imagine walking through an ice patch and you see a branch that's fallen off a tree, caught in a bush. You wouldn't think much of it, right? It was only on closer inspection that this supposed branch turned out to be an ancient weapon that belonged to the Paleo-Indians called an Atol Atol Dart. In 2010, Craig Lee discovered this 10,000-year-old artifact frozen in ice near Yellowstone National Park. The dart was first designed to be straight, but since it has remained frozen for centuries, it now has a slight bend towards one side. The dart was made out of birch saplings, and the best part is that it still had the personal markings of the Indian hunter it belonged to. The 3-foot, 0.9-meter dart had a projectile point at one tip and a dimple which helped hook the dart onto the throwing tool called Atol Atol. The Atol Atol is said to be 2 feet, 0.6 meters long and helps with leverage to gain greater velocity for the strike. When Mr. Lee discovered the dart, it was slightly bent, which he concluded could be because of an avalanche or a large animal, like that of a big horned sheep's hoof, accidentally stomping on the buried weapon. Lee was able to identify and report this ancient find only because he is a specialist in a very uncommon emerging field, which is called ice patch archaeology. Number 6. Fish Lizard Skeleton There are fish and there are lizards, but what if we told you that there was a time when planet Earth was home to a reptile which appeared to look like a fish, but was actually a lizard? In 2014, these fish lizard skeletons were first discovered in Chile. And no, it was not the only one of these unusual creatures to be found. After excavating the remains of this particular skeleton, scientists have found 46 more specimens of these skeletons that belonged to three different species. The fish lizards, also known as Ichthyosaurus, are known to have been fast swimmers that lived during the Mesozoic era, which was 250 million to 90 million years ago. Their bodies were shaped like torpedoes, with vertical flippers, long snouts, and gnawing teeth. One cannot miss the resemblance to dolphins. The scientists had discovered both embryos and adult specimens. The largest fossil was 16 feet, 5 meters long, and some of them also had well-preserved soft tissues. Research shows that the species might have gone extinct due to mudslides from volcanic eruptions, which pushed them into the sediment layers of the seabed and thereafter under sheets of ice. The Chilean glacier might have been home to these reptiles who swam the oceans while the dinosaurs walked the earth. Isn't it amazing how ice can preserve even soft tissues for thousands and thousands of years? If you are enjoying this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons for more videos like these. Number 5. Woolly Rhino Talking of well-preserved ancient finds, this next specimen seems to beat it all. It's not a fabric or a reptile, but a huge animal, the rhino. Scientists in Siberia found this particular animal along the banks of the Tyrketyak River. They believe that the rhino might have been two to three years old at the time it died from drowning. The carcass of the mammal dates back to 20,000 to 50,000 years ago and was discovered in 2014 in the melting ice of the diamond-producing region of Yakutia, Russia. After a few millennia, you would expect specimens to be half decayed to the extent of barely being able to identify the species. But unusually, this was one of the best preserved specimens from the Ice Age. It has most of its limbs, organs, tusks, and even layers of fat which are still well preserved. Although the specimen didn't entirely escape being decayed as it seems, some erosion marks can be found on its tusks. But hey, don't forget how old this guy is. Millions of years ago, these woolly rhinos lived throughout Europe and Asia. They had two horns, both a small one between the eyes and a large one which stuck out upwards. They were primarily herbivores and adults grew to almost 13 feet, 3.96 meters, and weighed 4,400 pounds, 1,995 kilograms. As the Earth's temperature rises, the melting ice sheets are likely going to reveal many more secrets from the past. A similar discovery was made the same year when another baby woolly rhino was found around the same area. Researchers have named her Sasha. Sasha was 34,000 years old when found and had strawberry blonde fur. The baby rhino died at the age of 7 months and has two little horns just like the adult rhino discovered. Number 4. Liuba the Baby Mammoth Let's go back 400,000 years ago to a time when mammoths roamed the earth. These huge mammals were almost the same size as an elephant, but were covered in fur to suit the climatic conditions of the Ice Age. In 2007, Yuri Kahuti, a Nanette reindeer herder, discovered this baby mammoth in the Yamal Peninsula of the Arctic. When the 41,800-year-old carcass was found, it weighed 110 pounds, 
50 kilograms and was found to have died when it was a mere 30 to 35 days old. The Nanettes believed that touching the mammoth carcass would bring bad luck. However, they did inform the local museum director. Kuti was given the honor of bestowing the calf with a name. He named it Layuba after his wife. Little Layuba was well preserved from her eyes to her trunk and the fur all over her body. She has a slender trunk that helped her to drink water from the snow and a layer of fat that helped her to keep warm during the harsh winters. The mammoth was sent to Japan to get computer scans and tested for research purposes. The results determined that Layuba probably became extinct after she choked on some mud while trying to cross the riverbed and follow the head of the clan. Researchers were surprised that she was in such good condition. After running tests, they even found traces of her mother's milk in her stomach and fecal matter in her intestines. It's thanks in large part to lactic acid bacteria that helped preserve her to find out more about the species. Currently, the calf is preserved at the Shimanoviski Museum and Exhibition Center in Salakhar, Russia. She currently weighs 110 pounds, 49.8 kilograms, and is 3 feet tall, 0.9 meters, about the same size as a large dog. Even though she had a tragic end, she is today helping scientists in discovering the truth of the Ice Age, thousands and thousands of years later. Number 3. Ice Mummies You probably heard of Egyptian mummies, but have you ever heard of ice mummies? Meet Atsi, the ice mummy. He was found in 1991 near the Tyrolene Alps, and from then on, he became famous all over the world. He is currently on display in the Bolzano Museum, and nearly 250,000 people come to visit him every year. So, have you ever wondered why ice mummies are so rare? When Atsi was discovered, he wasn't in the best condition, but thanks to a group of scientists, he was restored. Back then, people did not know that ice could help preserve artifacts and mummies. Due to this, loads of artifacts were destroyed in the process. So we were lucky enough to find Atsi because this is indeed a rare find. To become an ice mummy, the person would have to firstly die on ice, not to be found by any relatives or scavengers, freeze to perfection, and then be buried under sheets of ice that don't move. It's only when all these conditions are satisfied, we get one completely well-preserved ice mummy. The closest we have ever found to Atsi was a Viking sword, which was found in 2017. The sword likely belonged to a Viking soldier who lost his way in the blizzard. A few other ice mummies have been found scattered around British Columbia, but Atsi takes the prize for being the most well-preserved of them all. Number 2. 25 Million Year Old Lake do you know there is a lake which is not frozen but is still preserved under a layer of ice? Lake Vostok is the largest lake in Antarctica among 400 other known subglacial lakes in the region. You can find this lake at the southern pole of Russia's Vostok Station under the central east Antarctic ice sheet which is 11,444 feet above sea level. The ice that is settled on the lake has a continuous paleoclimatic record of 400,000 years. But the strange thing is that the lake has only been isolated for 15 to 25 million years. On February 5, 2012, Russian scientists were able to complete the longest ever ice core drilling of about 3,768 meters, 2,400 feet, which led them to the surface of the lake. Pristine waters from the buried lake sprung up, indicating that the lake is still very much in its liquid state. The aim of doing this experiment is to collect samples of the water and its sediments to prove that there are other life forms that could be found in these ancient lake waters. Number 1. Fleet of Frozen Ships Frozen ships are not rare, but finding a whole fleet of them left abandoned to bear all the natural calamities for decades is something that piques our interest. Bechavinka is today otherwise called the Ghost Town or the graveyard of wrecked ships. It was once the Soviet and Russian naval base and was located at a small portion of the Kamchatka Peninsula, known as the Land of Fire and Ice. This region gained its peculiar name because of the presence of active volcanoes amidst towering glaciers. It was first established in the 1960s by submarines of the Soviet Pacific Fleet. Since 1996, the site has been left abandoned. Several ships and boats of varied sizes can be seen in different stages of degradation, some floating, some partially submerged, rusted, and wrecked in the icy frozen waters of the Arctic. The eerie appearance has garnered the attention of several tourists, and today, Bechivinka has become a tourist hotspot. It was even featured in Robert Greenville's 2019 abandoned Cold War places. Have you come across anything frozen in ice? Let us know down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching today and make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video.